Hello my fashion friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. So for today's video I'm going to be talking about the Carly Bible and Misguided collection. I was actually asked a question um, as far as my opinion on her collection. Um, they kind of wanted to know just if I think it would like stand the test of time, if I felt like they were too trendy or like how I would pair some of the pieces. Um, I guess they maybe wanted a professional's idea. I'm a personal stylist and so maybe they wanted to kind of hear a professor's opinion on the um, clothes so I was like why not I'll talk about it so here we go so um, yeah so uh, Carly Bible she's a youtuber you guys know her already she's got over 5 million subscribers on YouTube um, she's got millions of followers on Instagram um, she's been around since you know pretty much YouTube first started so she's an OG she's very beautiful she is very classy talented she's just seems like an overall really kind person um and she's done really well for herself on youtube so i believe this is the second uh collection that she has done with Miss Guided. she done what she did one a few years ago i believe um which in my opinion was better than this one but we're gonna get into that uh so and she's parlayed that into a great career for herself she lives in new jersey um word on the street right now was that her and her boyfriend broke up but she has not spoke about that so we don't know but um anyway so now let's get into the collection so before we even get into that let me first just start off by saying that uh i can really appreciate people like carly bible and everyone who is creative who is turning their um passion into a career i think it's really difficult to kind of put yourself out there for people to criticize um when you love something and you want to turn that into a career and you want to produce a product that you think your subscribers will enjoy and then actually taking that risk taking that leap of faith creating something and then putting it out there for the masses um, to get scrutinized I think is very brave and I commend her for it I think she's doing a great job with just kind of building her career from scratch so more power to her in that regard um, I really appreciate people who put themselves out there because it's very difficult to put yourself out there because you know that you're opening yourself up to a lot of criticism a lot of hate um, a lot of praise as well but hate comes with the territory so um, put yourself out there I appreciate people like that good job Carly Babbitt Carly Bible. <laughs> now let's get on to um, her collection. In my opinion, I'm sorry to say I don't like it. Um, I don't like it because of several reasons. I feel like number one, it's uh, way too trendy. Number two, it's way too overpriced. Um, so those are just a few things that I'm not a big fan of. So from what I can see from the clothes, it's definitely her style. She is staying true to herself. This is definitely, um, these are definitely pieces that um, I feel like she would wear. But for me, I feel like it's a little bit too trendy. It's a little bit too impractical. Um, I think she's gearing more towards the age range of 18 to 29, 30-ish. Um, 30 is probably kind of put, even 29 is kind of pushing it but it, it kind of seems that the collection is more geared towards like a clubbing or a house party type situation um, just a very frivolous um, superficial event like that um, which is cool because not everything has to be classy and fancy sometimes you need a nice thoughtlicious clubbing dress or something like that so hey you know that's just what it seems like it's catering more towards so that's the mind frame that I'm using while critiquing this collection. So it's a little bit too impractical for me and it's a little too out of the box. For me, I feel like in today's times, um, it's cool to have clubbing and house party type of clothes, but I also feel like it's more pertinent to have pieces that are a little bit more versatile meaning you could wear it one way to the club and then wear it another way to work or wear it another way to um the store or grocery shopping or to a meeting or something like that but with this collection i kind of feel like it's really only geared for those two situations a club or a house party it's like for me, since I'm a professional, I can see how to pair these items differently to where um, they could work. But even for me, I'm struggling a little bit to try to find a way to like 
practicalize, if that's even a word, um, to make these things a little bit more practical. It's very difficult. So I, I think it's really limited in terms of where you can wear these pieces. These pieces are so specific that really once you wear them once, you can't really wear them again because they're so specific and they're so memorable, but not for the right reasons that once you wear it once, it's like, okay, you've worn that dress before. There's really nowhere else that you go wear it to not for maybe a while like let's say you wear it next weekend you probably can't wear that same outfit again for another like month or two and then by then it's like the trend is probably over and done because as you guys know trends don't last very long so that's another reason why i don't really like it i feel like they're too specific but not in a good way that once you wear it once it's a it's a wrap like you can't really wear it again the pieces feel a little bit too jumbled for me. Um, it's a little bit too cluttering for my eye. Um, I feel like there's just a lot going on, for, once again, for not the right reasons. I think it's very hard to pair these pieces except for with other pieces from this collection. And even with that being said as well, to pair some of the pieces with other pieces in this collection is not... Uh, they don't look good to me. They don't look seamless. They look really forced. Um, they look kind of very juvenile. They look... Um, professional um and i don't mean like unprofessional as far as like wearing it to work i just feel like it's not it's not like a seamless outfit it feels very jumbled it feels very um I don't really know how to explain it, but it doesn't feel like the items go well together. Also, she does have some plus sizing, but not every single piece in this collection is uh, plus size. And in my personal opinion, every single piece in this uh, collection doesn't even need to be plus size. A lot of these pieces um, would not flatter plus size women. I'm just going to put it out there. I know I probably will get a lot of hate for this, but just bear with me, guys, for a minute. Um, I'm not saying that it wouldn't look good on plus size women because they are plus size. I'm saying they would not look good on plus size women because of some of the materials that they use very thin um some of the cuts it, it just would not be flattering when she was creating this line i feel like she was really catering to like skinny girls girls that were along the lines of her shape very young girls who are very slender and and shapely but not plus size i don't think that um i mean plus size women could pull some of these looks off but i think it'd be very difficult because these looks are just not catered the way they're cut, the materials they use is not really catered to plus size women. Um, plus size women, you know, you know when uh when you know when a garment is cut to flatter plus size women. These, um, I don't see that. They're very short. They're very revealing. They're very um, scanty, thoughtlicious, whatever you want to call it. They're just they just would not suit plus size women. I don't mean to pick on plus size women. Please do not. That's not the message I'm trying to take from this. I'm really trying to help when I say this. Also, um, once again, the clothing is very revealing and she released it like a few weeks ago. It's cold right now. Um, a lot of these pieces, it's too cold to wear right now. I mean, I live in Houston where I could still wear a lot of these pieces because it's not even cold in Houston, but she lives in New Jersey. Like, it's cold right now. So what is she thinking? A lot of, you know, the U.S. Um, is cold right now, so we can't even really wear it. And I understand that her birthday just passed and, you know, things like that, but... Um, if she would have if she would have released some of these pieces in uh, let's say the summertime that you know May June July August ish time frame I think that would have been ideal but right now it's a little bit too cold to wear most of these pieces um, so it's just not and and I don't like being cold so you would not catch me wearing any of these pieces right now or ever um, but uh, I think it's just a little bit too cool right now for the pieces that she has in this collection okay so now let's talk about the price point like I said to me I feel like she was gearing towards the 18 to 29 year old um, age range and 18 to 29 year olds are on a budget they're in college um, maybe they graduated college recently and they just got their first entry-level job um, they're not really into their careers yet is what I'm trying to get at so they don't have money in the bank like to be splurging on such pieces like this now the reason why i say the price point is not good is because these pieces are uber trendy they are so trendy there's nothing versatile about these pieces um so for the pieces to be as trendy as they are they're too expensive they are way too expensive because for trendy pieces you know you can only wear them when that trend is relevant once that trend goes 
it's that's a wrap you know so um and moreover i think a lot of these pieces are very similar to fashion nova they have a better price point um boohoo has a better price point it's the same type of clothes forever 21 a lot of these pieces are very similar to those other um brands that are well um that are way more reasonably priced um now i understand that it's carly bible and she's putting her name on it so she has to make that point i understand that but at the same time you need to also understand your niche, your age range. Who are you trying to sell these pieces to? They don't have that kind of money. $40 for a crop top, really? Uh, she had $10 for like a choker band type thing. $25 for a hat. Um, like $85 for a suede dress or something. I don't know. It was just way too overpriced for me. Um, even for me, that's in my career, I would not purchase these things, not for that price point. Um, because once again, they're too trendy for my liking. And even if they were um, not as expensive as they are, I still wouldn't buy it. But I'm just saying, because of how trendy they are, they're too expensive. They are way too expensive. The materials that are also used in her clothes do not justify the price point. A lot of them are cheaply made, a lot of spandex, a lot of like nylon type, um, that faux silk material. Um, so like I don't care about all that stuff. Like I don't I'm not saying that she shouldn't use those materials because those are good materials, but they're just not um expensive materials to justify the price point that she's putting on the pieces. Like I said before, Forever 21, Fashion Nova, Boohoo, all those places have the same type of quality materials that she's using for her clothes, but at a much cheaper price. So I don't feel like um, it's justified in that regard. If I really wanted clothes like that, I would just go to Forever 21 where I can get a lot more for my dollar. I would go to Fashion Nova, I would go to Boohoo. I would get a lot more um, for my money. Even some of the clothes, even some of Misguided's clothes aren't that expensive either. So I would just shop regular Misguided versus the Misguided Carly Bible um, collaboration. So I just, I don't know. I don't really know what she was thinking with this. I think that, you know, make your money, girl. Of course, you got to make a living. More power to you on that. But um, considering the age range, the price point is just out of whack for me. So I don't really know what she was thinking in that regard. She could have, I mean, I'm sure she made a hella profit, but... And people are going to buy it anyway. I already know her fans, her loyal fans, are going to buy the clothes no matter how overpriced they are. Um, which is cool because she's catering to her fans. But she's built a platform to where she can command that type of dollar amount. So great. But for the regular folks like me, regular, regular people, um, I would not spend my money on those pieces. Now, some ways that you could wear some of those pieces are to split them up as far as maybe take a few items from the collection and then pair them with something you already have in your um, existing wardrobe. Like, for example, she has this one really pretty, um, like, glittery top. It kind of looks like it has diamonds on it. I would probably pair that with some nice jeans, some high-waisted jeans, and make that kind of a dressy, casual outfit. Throw a blazer over it just to class it up a little bit more. Um, that would be a good way to pair one of those items. There's another item that I really thought was really cute was, um, I think it came in two colors, but there, it was an olive dress. It kind of looked like um, lingerie type of like housewear. That's really pretty. I would definitely pair those with over the knee boots just to kind of um, class it up a little bit because it's so short. It looks really short. Um, so you would need a little bit more coverage or even take that same dress, wear leggings with it. Like this outfit right here, um, I just, I don't see where anyone would wear that. That's just not... I don't want to say that it's ugly, but um, it's just not my style. It's not my taste. I don't know whose taste that is. I mean, the top I could get with, but the pants, it's like, where are you going? Where are you going wearing those? Like, I don't even feel, I don't even feel like it's, like, um, unique enough to be considered trendsetting or... Um, it just doesn't look good to me. I don't see this being flattering on anybody. A skinny person, a plus size in between. I don't see it looking good on anybody. It doesn't look good on the model. It didn't look good on her. Um, I, it's just, oh man, the color is beautiful. I love the color. I love the laciness of it. But the pants, it's like, girl, no. And then you have this sweater right here where the whole front part is just exposed, cut up. So it's like, I mean, I don't, I guess I'm just really old school and I know that's a very trendy look right now because Kylie Jenner has done it um, but I don't care if Kylie Jenner has done it it's not practical it doesn't look good um, the way she's even paired it here it doesn't look good I don't like the whole um, sweater thing and then you have the 
little glittery top I don't even like that I think the sweater it, how the front part is all cut, cut out like that Ugh, it's just I don't know call me old-fashioned if you want to but it's just not practical like if you want to wear a sweater then wear a sweater why does it have to be cut why, why does the front have to be cut out like that I know it's all in the name of fashion and um, being a personal stylist I should be able to appreciate this more which I do appreciate it but it's not see I'm older so when I spend my money it has to work in a lot of ways for me this sweater right here would not work in a lot of ways for me I could wear this sweater with like two things and that's it if I if I'm gonna buy something I have like five outfits already in my mind in my closet that I could wear with it I am and also when I buy something I'm I don't have to strain my brain to try to come up with outfits to wear it with when I buy something it's easy for me to pair outfits with it's easy for me to know exactly how I'm gonna wear that piece what I'm gonna wear it with when I'm gonna wear it where I'm gonna wear it to all those things come easy to me when there's a piece that I know is for me and deserves to be in my closet this piece right here does not deserve to be in my closet because um, people who aren't even as advanced as someone like me as far as putting outfits together will struggle trying to figure out a way to wear this except for the way she has it here on the website like other than that I bet you regular people would not know how to pair that sweater except for how she has it here so it's like it's just uh, not practical I guess that's just the word of the day for this video it's just not practical enough to justify the price point and it does not deserve to be in my closet I'm sorry Carly I love you so much I've been watching you for years you know I've been watching you for YouTube for years and I love your stuff I think you're beautiful you're one of the most honest beautiful people in my opinion on YouTube <sighs> but girl you missed the mark on this one I'm sorry you missed the mark on this one I can appreciate what you were trying to do I appreciate your talent your skills your business acumen I can appreciate all that but this is gonna be a no for me sorry okay so now for my final thoughts my final thoughts are I think as far as the color palette that she has chosen I think the color palette is great for the fall and winter time it's even great to transition into the spring and summer time the colors but the actual pieces I would say go ahead and save your money I would not waste your money on this I've seen a lot of reviews on YouTube and for the most part the clothes were not that flattering on the girls who were wearing them whether the girls were skinny petite or whether they were plus size the clothes were not flattering on anybody I'm not even trying to be a hater I'm not trying to be negative but I'm really trying to make you guys aware of what you're getting yourself into um, I believe she's supposed to be having a second launch that's coming up pretty uh, soon if not already by the time this video uh, gets put up but um, I would not recommend you purchasing I think it's overpriced I think you can get the same quality the same type of trendy pieces from Forever 21 Fashion Nova Boohoo Pretty Little Thing you know all those fast fashion um, boutiques so uh, if you want the look get it for less at those other stores I would not purchase from here so also like I said I'm really happy that she's staying true to herself as far as what she enjoys what she likes to wear I just don't think it translates well to her age range her target niche 18 to 29 year olds these people are in college fresh out of college entry-level positions just starting out their careers so they don't have a lot of money to be spending on such trendy pieces that are so expensive I think it does does not translate well she missed the mark on that regard um, we'll see what the new uh, the second wave of the collection looks like we'll see what she has there but the first wave the stuff here don't spend your money on I would not I've looked at other youtubers um, their reviews on it it doesn't look it on anybody I'm just putting it out there I'm not trying to be negative I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer here negative Nancy whatever you want to call it I'm just really trying to help you guys from my point of view my perspective um, it's really hard to pair things from the existing collection with each other let alone take things from that collection and pair it with something you already have existing in your own closet so um i just uh, i gotta say no to this one okay um and that's okay right i'm allowed to have an opinion um so we'll see the next wave what she comes up with but for right now i would say it's going to be a no for me um 
so i don't know i would love to hear your opinions as well i would love to hear if you guys agree or disagree with me i would also love to hear if um some of you guys have purchased some of these items and what you feel about them but for me it's going to be and i'm not going to purchase from them i'm going to save my money on something else i would love to get the discussion going please let me know in the comments i definitely would love to know also please don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel i would so love to have you back and visit my channel once again please also go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a brand new video. I try to upload videos two to three times a week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, please come back in a timely fashion.